Hello everyone. And today we will continue to look at the Red Hat System Administrator Certification Question Bank. Today this is question 19 and the requirement for question 19 is to add a swap partition. Currently there isn't one in the system. Here we are asked to add a new swap partition. So first, a swap partition is actually a relatively special type of disk partition. It is also created step by step from our hard drive. So the overall operation steps are actually as follows. First, partition the disk space that is currently unused. After allocating a certain size, what do we do? We create a new partition. Then through our exchange partition. Ah, the initialization command. As for the formatting command, first format it once, and then add the swap partition to the startup file. And that's it. Ah, this is our overall process. Ah, generally speaking, when we mainly add partitions, it is usually with some regular partitions, logical volumes, and so on. As for the swap partition, when do you use it? It's actually when you are. When you didn't create a swap partition while setting up the system, that's when you would use it. You could say that, generally, if you follow the system's default requirements, there will definitely be a swap partition. There will definitely be a swap partition. Including logical volume partitions, these are all created by default. They are all created by default. If they are not there, how do you add them? First, our minimum requirement is a size of 512 MB. That's the only size requirement. Nothing else, right? Uh, nothing else. So let's start creating. So first, the first step is to... Let's take a look at our current disk situation, which we just checked, right? In the previous question, we looked at the disk situation, right? This one can't be used, right? This VDVE definitely can't be used because it has already been made into our logical volume, so it can't be used. Now below this, there's a traffic issue here, right? There's a default one in the system now. We. We won't use this one. We need it. The task requires us to add an additional new transaction partition. In this case, the entire VDB disk actually can't be used. The disk can't be said to be completely unusable. Oh, you know, there is still some space, right? There is still some space. If you want to use it, it's not a problem. You can use it. You can use the size check. The size check can be used. Everyone, please note, during the exam, Pay attention to whether your disk size is sufficient because the task requires 512 MB and the current total is 5 GB using less than 1 GB ice so it doesn't affect and can be used. So here, let's go ahead and create it. The first step is that we need to use a command to partition it. First, use FDSK followed by the disk name under DV VDB Changsai and press enter. After entering Changsai, we need to create a new partition. First, use n to create. The number is 3, because we already have 1 and 2, right? VDV here has 1 and 2. So this is the third one. Then press enter e for the starting sector. The ending sector, which is our size. Okay, for the size here, it's 512. Go ahead, you can just write it like this. Here it says the value exceeds the limit. If the value exceeds the limit, it means there's not enough space. Let's take a look. Hmm. Exceeds the limit. Look, add 512 megabytes. Ah, oh, this will do. For the version 9 system on this side. On this side. You can't directly write a symbol. What do you need to add? How much do you need to add? Pay attention here. You add as much as you want to create a partition of that size. After creating it, you can directly check it. Ah, this is the current partition situation, right? The first one is on top. The second one is already in our system. The third one is the one we just created, confirmed no problem. After 512 megabytes, save. Exit. OK, after coming out. Let's take another look. Ah, this is the situation. We can see that currently, our 512 megabyte partition has been successfully created. But how do we turn it into a swap partition? 
because the swap area is quite special, right? It's actually considered a special type of memory. Well, when the memory is insufficient, we can call upon the space in the partition to help store some data for the memory. So here, first. The command needed is to format it, and the formatting command is slightly different from other formatting commands. It's mkswap, followed by our path. That's all you need. OK, directly format it. And after formatting, edit it. We edit the fstab file under etc. Here, if you want to use the UUID, you can copy it down, no problem. What does this mean? Once we enter, we need to add this disk, right? Now, add the disk, partition, and its corresponding path. Okay. This is the location for automatic mounting, meaning that if this file exists, every time the system starts, it will mount content from these files. Ah, then the mounting content inside, here we, here, it is essential to write it down. If you don't write it, if you don't write it, you won't get any points for this question, not a single point. Because if you don't write it, after restarting the system, this partition won't mount to this directory. And at that point, it will report an error, which is wrong. So here, first of all, we, our disk or partition is actually VDB. Three. The type is swap. Ah, to be precise, it is actually mounted as swap with the type being swap. The third is the type, the second is the mount point. And then you can just write the rest as default. There's nothing that needs special attention. Okay, after writing, we save and exit. Since we haven't restarted yet, you can see here that it is definitely not mounted. So what do we do? Well, we can use. Here we can refresh it, reload it, or then we use swap all to check. This is our new 512 vanilla by swap partition. Of course, you can also use free. H screen you can check, right? The issue here is that it shows a total amount. Um, it shows the total. You see here it's 754 adding up exactly. So what is this? This is uh, the creation of a swap analysis. What do you need to pay attention to here? You need to be aware of. Firstly, the most important thing is actually our file. Because if you don't correctly configure and write the content into the file, it will be gone the next time you restart. So it's necessary to restart our server B as well. Ah, it's also necessary to restart if. If you have completed everything, of course, we still have two more questions to address later. Once you have completed everything. In that case, you must restart server B once more. Whether it's server A or server B, we need to restart them after restarting. Let's take a look at this. Check if the disk or partition is still mounted to our OOD interactive partition. If it's there, there's no problem. If not, redo the process and check again. Here, let's take a look. MS Bok. Uh, as you can see here, it's also up, yeah, right? It also has this symbol, This is an addition for our Java analysis. Uh, the most important thing is to ensure that the FSTB directory under ETC is written correctly. Uh, yes, it must be written correctly in that file. If it's written incorrectly, then this task won't score any points, no points at all, even. If you make a serious mistake, it could cause the entire system to fail to start. This is no joke. This file is very critical, and if you write it incorrectly, the whole file could cause the system to fail to start and then you would fail the entire exam. Uh, if you think your server B won't start, then you won't get any points at all. Uh, this is a point that needs attention. Everyone must be sure not to write it incorrectly. This is part of our content on adding exchange analysis. If you need a complete question bank, you can leave a comment below and purchase the most stable question bank at the best price. So today, we'll stop here. Goodbye, everyone.